Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's take a look at an example where we're trying to find the maximum height of a projectile that's fired from the ground at zero height. Notice in this case we're going to use just a general approach. No numbers, so simply equations. We have an object being fired off at initial velocity v sub naught, which means it has some horizontal component to that velocity, which is v sub naught times the cosine of the angle theta, and a vertical component to the velocity v sub naught in the y direction equals v sub naught times the sine of the angle theta. So, how do we find the maximum height? Hmm. Well, we have three equations, and I think the equation we want to use, since we're not given time here, we can use the following equation, that v initial or v final in the y direction squared equals v initial in the y direction squared plus 2 times g times the change in the height delta y. Why are we using that equation and why are we only concerned for the component or with the component in the y direction? That's because the component in the x direction adds no height. In other words, it doesn't matter how fast the object is moving in the, in the x direction, it will not give it any additional height. The only component that controls how high it goes is the y components and therefore we're going to use this equation. Since we're looking for the maximum height, that is going to equate to the change in the y direction. So let's take this equation and solve this equation for the y direction, which means that we have v final in the y direction squared minus v initial in the y direction squared by moving this term over to the left side is going to be equal to 2 times the acceleration to the gravity times the change in height. Now remember that g is actually a minus 9.8 meters per second squared. That means in this case g is a negative quantity. Solving this for delta y, we say that delta y is therefore equal to v final in the y direction squared minus v initial in the y direction squared divided by the coefficients 2 times g. When we plug in some numbers we get the following. The final velocity in the y direction, when it reaches maximum height, that will be equal to zero minus the initial velocity in the y direction is given by this equation right here. So it's going to be v initial squared times the sine squared of theta. And we divide that by 2 times g. Remember, g is a minus 9.8. So when we then solve this or simplify this, we can say that the maximum height maximum height, which is equal to the change in y, is going to be equal to well, if I'm going to replace it by minus 9.8, I will get v initial squared times the sine squared of theta divided by 2 times the absolute value of g. So I'm making the minus 9.8 into a positive 9.8, and then of course can also cancel the negative in the numerator. At that point, I have an equation now that tells me for any projectile fired from the ground, what the maximum height attained is simply by knowing its initial velocity in terms of the angle theta and the, initial, the component of initial velocity v sub naught. And that's how it's done.